So you guys, I am so excited to show you something. This is our grapevines that has been growing since last year. And it starts off right down there. Two beautiful grapevines. And they climbed all this way. Look at all the beautiful leaves. Well, I was just focused on the leaves budding, but look at, do you see that? Hopefully it will zoom in here. Hold on. There we go. That's little grape clusters. What a blessing. Look at the cluster, cluster. There's a cluster coming here, one here, one here. There's clusters everywhere. Cluster coming there, down here, over here. Like, it doesn't look like much now, but this is such a hit. Look at that big cluster right there. And one there, and one over there. Like, everywhere. There's got to be over a 100 clusters on these two beautiful vines. Look at the life. My heart is so happy. I'm so thankful and I just say thank you God because this is truly a blessing. So amongst our grapes we have our wild strawberries. Also another huge blessing. Um, if you can see there's one grapevine here that's kind of instead of coming up the trellis it seems to want to go over this way and I'm gonna let it and we'll see where it goes if it's managing decently or if I have to help it but last year we did get grapes this was our first year with the grapevine last summer and we got so many grapes it was unbelievable but because it was our first summer with the grapes I cut off 80% of all the grape clusters so that the plant could actually focus on the rooting system and get grounded and focus the energy there. But the 20% of grapes that we did have were incredible. They're seedless. We have a couple little critters, whether it be squirrel, chipmunks, mice, whatever, that loved the grapes too. And as soon as they were ripe, they were munching on them. Um, Sorry, I got something in my mouth. Yeah, I had freeze-dried sour Skittles. And I feel like the freeze-drying intensifies the sourness and it burnt my tongue. How is that possible? It did. It's not a hot thing, but sour was so intense it burnt my tongue. Anyway, we're, we've been having rain now for days. And it's not summer weather. This is like really cold fall weather. So that's why you see the leaves kind of curling. But as soon as we get heat, they're going to even out. And our strawberry blooms are coming. So that's another blessing. I'm so thankful to the Lord. So you guys can see we're getting strawberry blooms here as well. So here's our strawberry garden. Our brand new strawberry garden. And with all this rain, strawberries... They need proper drainage because they can easily get root rot. So these puppies are new and they're, they've they been going through the ringer with the extreme heat, then the extreme cold, but they're still here. They're surviving. They look healthy. Anyway, once we get some heat, they're going to do well. But even our, like, uh, what's that called? Lilac bushes. They're kind of lagging because the water is weighing them down. My cherry bush over there look at that see how it's kind of lagging because of all the water so I might have to put like a little support for them but uh, yeah just want to kind of update you is the rhubarbs love in the water they love it this area that's overgrown with the grass and my little bush area here I am gonna do cardboard to kill the weeds and the grass because pulling it doesn't do a thing so I need to cardboard it for a year but my heart was so happy when I saw those grape clusters. I was so excited. I almost got heartburn. <laughs> Look at our beautiful wooden tulips. What a blessing, eh? Every year we put these wooden tulips out. We bought a batch of five. I hear the birds out singing this morning. I got to fill the bird feeder. But tons and tons of grape clusters. And I just want to take you guys on the journey and show you the whole... The blooming season not just the end where it's harvest so i hope you guys are enjoying all right guys just got a delivery and i thought i would share it with you it's from amazon prime it's something that i've needed for a while and i'll tell you what i am a straw user and i only use plastic straws 
plastic. That's it. Those cardboard straws, no. But I prefer a drink to have a straw. So I thought I need a straw container. Wait, is this what it really looks like? Okay. Wow. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what I was looking for because this is the Coca-Cola straw holder. Oh, it, they sent me cardboard straws. Oh, well, they look pretty. They're good for nothing. Anyway, I like how it had this window here. And it's got, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it actually protrudes from the can. Coca-Cola. Let's just see. i got to wash this. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So now that we're washed and dried, we're going to put my straws in. This is going to be so much better. Look at that. I love it. Now, the red and white straws definitely went prettier with the container, but I love that. Kind of gives, like, vintage vibes. I like the little handle. Oh, yeah. This is cute. Look at that. Perfect. And I'm still loving my sign, my hometown grill vintagey sign. I love that right here at the stove. Love getting to see it every day. Yay. I just thought that I would share this mini little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. to doing these eggs perfectly is to have your pan hot really nice and hot before the egg goes in the pan if it's not hot enough the white part won't fully cook like I think it's called over easy I don't know but where the whole white parts cooked but the yolk is still going to be runny hot pan and that does the trick Just a damp, cold morning this morning. Got laundry on the go. My regular house cleaning. This smells so good.
I'm undecided about what I'm cooking for supper and I burnt my spatula. Crap. Can you see the burn from when I had it like that? Oh, that's my own fault. I know better. Oh, these puppies. I'm going to let them wait just another 50 seconds, but I just want to show you if I gently poke the top, it's still liquid, the yolk, but the white is going to be fully cooked, and that's what I want, because the two grossest things about eggs is finding an eggshell in your egg or cutting into the egg and the white part being runny. That's no go for me. Like, it'll turn my stomach and I can't eat it. That's actually what just happened the other day. Me and my hubby both got breakfast, and I had my eggs like this. But when I cut into it, the white part was runny, the white part. So I didn't say anything. I just ate my toast and all my other food. And we brought this home. My husband had it the next day. He microwaved it, so he cooked it a little bit longer. But yeah, that, that turns me off completely to the point like, okay, I can't eat it. <laughs> Look at this perfect breakfast. Yum. There's Miss Magoo laying on the floor. Um, You guys, I am so incredibly blessed. Like, I called my dad to ask him if he could come and set up our washer with the hot water hose because, believe it or not, I've always been the type to only use cold water on our washer, so we never had the hot water hose hooked up. And I need it because I'm washing winter coats, and my husband's winter coat is real thick, and it needs hot water to really wash it good, like to get all any dirt and stains. So I have it in the washer with hot water now. I'm so excited, and I know it'll wash it perfectly. So, um, now we have that option. If I need to do a load with hot water, then I will. Now you guys can see brightness through the curtain, but don't be deceived. It's the same as it was yesterday. It's freezing, windy, it's cold, it's rainy. <laughs> so yeah, it's it looks bright in the camera, but it is dark and damp out there. But um, yeah, so I'm so blessed that dad just came right over and he put on a, a new hose and hooked it all up and made sure it wasn't leaking like what a blessing that I can just call dad and he can come over and help us and oh my heart I just thank you so much dad um I'm watching that's Casey I love watching her um channel she doesn't upload very much anymore but she also works full-time as a nurse and she has a husband and dogs, and she's close with her family. So whenever she does upload, I love watching. But this is an old video. This is actually Vlogmas, like Christmas time. So, yeah, I'm watching Vlogmas in June. <laughs> but, yep, yeah, I'm so blessed. Dad came over and helped me out. I'm still on the hunt for my a new rug for the living room. This is so much easier for me when I vacuum and mop the floor, though, not to have to worry about a rug. But I need a rug because I lay on my living room floor for, like, when I'm very anxious and I lay on the floor a lot. So I've been having to fold a blanket and it's not, I need my rug for that purpose. I need it. But anyway, for now, it's decent without a rug. So I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Oh, no, you guys. So I am not a person to be watching the news because it does overwhelm me. But my my close friend that I grew up with, like through high school and junior high, she lives in one of these places where there's fires and her and her boyfriend and their dog had to evacuate. And I was telling her, like, I had no idea there was a fire there. I just thought I heard about the fires in Nova Scotia. And she said, because she knows I don't watch the news, and she said there's so many fires all across Canada. So I decided I'm going to check the Canadian news and look at what it's saying. More than 350 wildfires all across Canada. And that's as of today. And I am just in shock. I thought there was just wildfires in Nova Scotia. Like, I can't even imagine. Like... They 
where my friend is, they had to call in the military and the military's helping. And I guess there's just some, there's been a lot of houses burned down in different places and farm animals lost. And, oh, I, I, I like, oh, I don't take for granted the safety and it just makes me even more thankful for this rain and the cold weather because I never want to complain about it even though it's cold and like it's off weather hi Coco she's crying she wants me to feed her get down get down um I just wanted to share that with you guys because apparently this is going on right now there's 350 wildfires out of control and they said we lost like five million football field worth of forest and land and the animals that go with it and it's just breaking my heart like lord jesus please help those people please help the wildlife the animals and bring rain to squash out those fires like those places are so dry and it's so hot and it, like the wind just fuels it right so Please pray for these communities, guys. Okay, guys, so I have a little indoor garden going because of the outdoor weather. <laughs> I forget what these are called, but they're gorgeous. The camera's really not doing them justice. And these look the same, but they're not. They're all different shades, and I don't know why. Why is it showing that they look red? They're all purple. This is not being true to color for whatever reason. Anyway, I got those for a hanging basket. Oops, no, they're not the hanging basket ones. These are. So I got this color and then a bubblegum pink. And these are going in one single basket. They are Super Tunia Vista Jazzberry. Anyway, they're going to go in a basket, but it's too cold for them to be outside. And then I have six early girl tomatoes and I have six green peppers, but they have to stay indoors due to the weather for now. And sorry that I just burped. I was drinking a lot of water. <sighs> I'm going to take you guys outside and just show you from the deck what I did today because we had a break in the rain. It finally stopped raining, so I got my butt outside and I did a couple things that needed to be done because it's still going to be raining all this week. So, Okay, I just want to show you my three outdoor plants. They're all having a hard time. This one actually grew, but you guys see my leaf was damaged due to the extreme heat and the extreme cold. Sorry about that. My alarm went off. But it has actually grown. And then this tomato, you guys can see there's so many places where it's having, like the leaves are having discoloration. It's, and that is my, that's either a pumpkin or a cucumber. Not sure which one it is, but with the high winds, it broke it off the stem. So these guys are here, but I'll show you. I laid down more cardboard today. If you guys can see that whole section over there, because I don't want grass and weeds and trees and all that stuff growing. It doesn't look good, but with the rain, it's going to help flatten it. I have my bags of cut grass, which I'll be using as compost. Just want to show you that. And then I laid down more cardboard along my walkway, this section right here and right there. So all along my little garden, there's going to be a good minimum six inch walkway that it'll kill the grass and the weeds just because it doesn't take much to try to overgrow it. It really doesn't. It's unfortunate. That's my compost pool. And then what I did today, um, my cherry tree over there was starting to lag the branches, um, probably partially due to the weather. So I put three bamboo stakes, you guys can see them, and I put that burlap string. So now all the branches are supported and that, that beautiful Bing cherry bush tree is doing really well. Um, you can see my footprints in my strawberry garden there, the deep indents. 
but that's okay. And then there's the most recent strawberry garden that I planted. It's going to be okay. It's just getting a crap ton of water. I was almost wondering, should I put a tarp over it? I don't know. I, I'm not sure what to do because there's still like a whole other week of rain coming. Mm. And we're not getting the sun to kind of dry it up. So, But you see that that whole strip of like grass and weeds wanting to grow. I'm gonna cover that with cardboard too. I didn't, it's my own mistake. When I laid cardboard, I should have laid it all the way overlapping onto the cement and I didn't. But yeah, so I got that done today too. <sighs> that bird sounds beautiful. There's the lilac bushes. Aren't they pretty? They're really, really pretty.